Hey guys, make sure to send your DNT if you make one common mistake you may end up spending thousands of dollars on tools, parts and diagnostic that you may actually not even need. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys, thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, today will be super helpful video to any of you having a BMW X3 X4, that generation here that you see from year 2010 to year 2018. If you guys uh, need to find where the fuses and the relays for the throttle body are located, which uh, fuses and relays you need to check, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. Why well, it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays, all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Please make sure to stay until the end. So before we start guys, let us tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to fix engines, transmissions, engine codes, fuses, uh, bodywork, a little bit of everything. Why we guys do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos for you. And guys, if you need to buy any parts, tools at a good price, quick shipping, that way do not waste money and time we're going to put links in the description of the video below for your convenience check it out that way do not waste your money guys also we will have more than 14,000 free repair videos on our youtube channels check them out guys we'll have videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs as well so let's start on it now so guys this bmw has many hidden fuse boxes that most people do not know that they even exist you have up to five or six different fuse boxes and for many of you okay some of those are special fuse boxes kind of like this one here if you don't know about them guys we'll recommend to check out the video on our youtube channel about fuse box location on bmw x3 x4 check it out it can save you thousands of dollars in repairs so guys fuses and relays for the throttle body where you can expect to find them for any of you that want to see how to test throttle body we have the videos on our channels that will teach you how to do that bmw x3 and x4 are built on the same platform so it should work for both first we need to open the passenger door open the glove box remove everything out of the glove box and in the very back on the right side you see that cover guys press that tab pull the cover out behind it you're going to find the fuse box with a layout like this one here before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays so let us tell you guys why it's super important to test fuses and relays fuses guys sometimes are really hard to know if they're burnt or not for instance i'm going to pull one fuse here okay and sometimes you cannot clearly see if they're good they're bad and let's say you think you have a good fuse you put it back in and you end up having problems again and you spend time money you buy parts diagnostics you pay for services that you don't need guys you practically wasted your money so all you have to do waste uh, ch ch check your fuses that way you don't waste money guys so always test your fuses even if you think it's good always test it, it even happened to us guys okay and we work on cars all the time another thing always test your relays they're a little bit harder to uh, test but if you want to see guys how to test fuse relays we will put a link in the description of the video below but we've seen so many customers that think that they have a good fuse they put it back in they waste their money on parts and diagnostic that they practically guys do not need so check out the link in the description of the video below how to test the fuse and how to test the relay as well so guys here which fuses and relays we need to check just one in that fuse box then we need to go to in two more fuse boxes here in that row you need to check a 15m fuse which is known as fuse 35 right there then open guys okay the trunk on your bmw remove that cover on the side on the right side here lift the insulation up behind it you have another fuse box here you may need to check up to three more fuses you may have all of them or just some depending on the year model and engine one of the fuses that you need to check is fuse 131 if you have it 132 and 143 right there however guys okay for throttle body throttle position sensor the main fuses guys you need to open the hood face the windshield on the driver's side you see that cover needs to be removed we'll have a video how to do that uh, the video is called fuse box location and diagram on bmw x3 x4 that's the brake fluid reservoir this white cover needs to come out remove the clip pull the cover out you will see underneath the, uh, this is the power supply module here guys okay if you remove it it looks like this one it's supposed to be non-serviceable but we'll have a video how to open it 
and you can actually replace the fuses in most of them and here you have one two three four five six seven fuses three relays those are for engine management functions and one of those will be throttle board and throttle position sensors so if you have problems with it check these fuses relays you don't have relays guys that function is controlled practically by the engine computer so guys if you need to buy uh, parts, tools, fuses, relays for your BMW with a good price, quick shipping guys. We're going to put a link in the description of the video below where you can get them from because we have very specific fuses, especially these little fuse boxes guys, those could be really hard to find. You can see like the one right here as well guys and we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get them at a good price, quick shipping as well. Hopefully guys the video will be helpful. If you have any questions let us know. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.